First of all, I want to welcome you all, especially the architect Miro and Whitaker Construction who are here. I think they designed the architect a beautiful building and Whitaker Construction gave us a very good price and so this is a terrific start <laughs> for this building. So this starts for us the Muon program, so it's a terrific time and if the rest of the project goes as well as today and our engineers are able to produce a day like today on order, I am sure the rest of the project will go just swimmingly well. For us it means a start of this area where we will do two beautiful world-class experiments in this muon area along with the central campus, the neutrino campus, eventually we'll call this the muon campus. It will be part of our master plan. We're very excited about the master plan and it's going to give us a terrific lab into the 21st century. So this is a special day when we're starting all this activity that will go on for the next two or three decades. Thank you very much and I'll pass the mic to Mike. There you go. All right. Thank you, Pierre. I'm Mike Weiss. I'm the Fermi Site Office Manager for DOE. Oh my God. And uh, on behalf of the Department of Energy, my office, the Office of Science and Headquarters, and our high energy physics folks, I want to thank everyone for coming. Every time we take a shovel of dirt, every time we place a beam, every time we pour some concrete here, it's just more evidence uh, that we're ensuring and reaffirming the future of the laboratory and all these different programs and experiments. And so it's an exciting time, and it's thanks to all of you here uh, and your continued hard work that we're going to continue fighting for uh, that assurance that we're going to continue to get the money to come and do these kinds of projects. So with that I'll turn it over to Chris and he can talk a little bit about the specifics of the project. Yeah, so clearly we got, got a great day to all wear our jackets out here. It's uh, bright and shiny like the future of our Muon program here. So it's, it's nice. Um, we. Uh, you know, this has been a, a lot of effort, and I was told to keep the speech short because apparently Office of Communications knows me a, a little too well. But I do want to take a moment to just reflect back on where we've come from. I mean, it was up until probably January of last year, we had two independent experiments here, mu on G minus 2 and mu to E, that were really looking to how, how do we make a world-class muon program here? How do we utilize all this wonderful infrastructure that comes with the anti-proton source behind you there? And, you know, that was what they had in common, but now we have a very coherent program starting with this building. And you can see the evidence of the coherence of that program just looking around here. If you look to the east, you can find a line of, a line of columns that extends off. Those are the columns that will bring the liquid helium over to the cryogenic plant that will be housed inside this building. Muon G-2 will be the first experiment to occupy the high bay of the building. And it's a very exciting time for G-2. We'll be, you know, peering into the vacuum and looking at the particles that come boiling out at the subatomic scale. We'll be looking for our, our true, true and dear friends in the standard model that we know and expect and be hoping to find evidence of a few strangers as well. So it's, a, it's a, again, a very exciting time here. I want to take a moment to thank Russ Albert. Uh, Russ has taken uh, the desires and the, the loose specifications from physicists and translated them into reality which is the building that we'll see going up here over the next few months. So it's fantastic. So I'm Eric Gottschalk. I'm the project director. I don't have much to add to what Pierre and Mike and Chris have already said. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It's an excellent turnout for a wonderful day and a great start on the Muon campus, building one. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. <laughs>